All right, so we have started. Uh, let's see where we are. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> Bravo. Let's almost see if we have any almost here, off without a hitch. Yeah. Are, are we on, Joel? We are, are we on? on? Are we on? We are on, man. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Welcome, Joel. Welcome. Well, guess welcome, Keith. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> nice to see you, Joel. Uh, guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? It is time once again for Smack and Jack Live here in lovely Chester County, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And we are on as expected. Yes. Well, we probably aren't expected to be on it. On time, all the time. I think we're on as unexpected. Yes. Uh, well, it's 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 right on time. So grab your coffee. We got ours. Sit back and enjoy for a, a great show we got lined up for you. And we will be right back. All right. Here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wenderman. Once again, our audience is a little slow on the draw, but uh, yeah, we really got to prod them. Oh, right? now they're now they're <laughs> booing. Oh goodness sakes! Yeah, we got to prod our audience. Anyway, yes, uh, yes. Anyway, so welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. We got a couple of people watching. Yay. Barbara, Linda, uh, Jim Ross. Yeah, good to see you, Jim. Good morning. Good to see all you guys. Uh, it's raining again, boy. I tell you, if I could bet on the rain, if I could bet on the lottery the way I bet on rain, yeah, we might be. Have a little, a little bit more. Yeah, and today it's uh, not even like true rain. It's just misty, yeah. just enough to make everything completely wet, uh, but not really rain. Yet it might end up raining. So yeah, and it's it's like when you're driving. Do I put the wipers on all the way? Do I put them on the intermittent? Like how far up did I turn that little dial? On the and wipers? they squeak if they're yeah, not the brand new. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nothing worse than that. Uh, I know. Uh, Windshield wiper nightmare. we have to deal with. Yes. yes. All right. What we got going uh, on today? Keith, uh, well, we got some announcements. Crap all uh, our usual guess. announcements. Yep. Uh, we got joke of the day, which is, I heard, they're, supposed to be pretty fun. Yeah, they're going to be great today. Uh, we're going to do some trivia. Again, we'll do the trivia. Uh, we'll, we'll throw out the questions, and then we'll come back yeah. uh, and answer them. Uh, we got facts of the day. We're going to do a little bit of the 4%, uh, show you what's been going on with the 4% group. Yep. Going to answer the trivia questions and the ever popular birthday, birthday minute. Birthday minute, yeah. So uh, yeah, so let's go back up to the announcements. Yes, yeah, so we'll what kind start of announcements off we got right going there. On today, Joel. Uh, so, so uh, our show almost did not go off almost, today, right? Yes. So after I talked to Keith yesterday, I you know drive or on my way home from school, I always give Keith a call on Friday, just make sure that our show's ready to go for Saturday, making sure that we're we're, we're going to uh, get up at yep. seven <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So Ooh. I so I get to church. So I'm practicing the organ at church, and I get mm -hmm. a phone call from Stephanie. Um, Joel, Sophia has an orthodontist appointment tomorrow at nine fifteen, and you have to take her. Like, <laughs> oh wait a minute! I'm like, there was silence for like three seconds. <laughs> I was like, what? So <laughs> so uh, I got a little furious. Oh. I, not you know, not that I had to take her or anything like that. It, it was kind of like a last minute. I didn't realize she had an appointment tomorrow, right. and we just had our conversation. Mm -hmm. So, yep. so I was like, all right, I'll take her. And, uh, and then I sent you a note saying that we might not be doing the show today. So, um, and then I'm practicing, practicing, practicing. And I'm thinking, you know what? Our girl Sophia is 14 years old. <laughs> the, uh, Linda, if you remember where the dentist, appoint or dentist office is, over by <clears throat> Rose Tree School and uh, Aunt Nancy's house, that's where our orthodontist is. Yeah. So I said, that's, that that's a walk through a neighborhood. Yeah. She can do that. So it turns out. Uh, Stephanie can actually drop her off but can't stay for the appointment and then Sophia will just walk home or she'll just wait for me if she doesn't want to walk in the misty rain or something. So, <laughs> she's 14. She can walk a mile. You know, when yeah. uh, when, when Joel was 14, he, he pulled a, uh, a uh, whole sled through... Remember before there was electricity, you had to uh, pull... Yeah, sled through rain and snow, and yeah, it was worse because the was, horses were sick. That it day. was really bad when there was no snow. <laughs> yes, 
That yeah. was the worst. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, so we're here, folks. Yes, we're okay. here. Yep. Yep. Thanks, and, Caroline. And Shook, yeah, Sophia. Yeah. Sophia. Sophia will be fine. Yeah. Sophia. Yeah. Well, thanks too, Caroline. Yeah. For... Okay. And the other thing <laughs> I want to tell you is I went for a ride on a motorcycle last Sunday. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, it was you know, a great day. I've hardly yeah. been out on the bike because of the weather we've had. So I went for a ride. Beautiful ride. Come in, get done, uh, come into the garage. And uh, do you ever do something where you think you're actually going to do it, like put down a kickstand, but oh, it doesn't go down, oh, no. and you start leaning the bike over? Okay. Yes, yeah, this is the first time this ever happened to me. And it, and it pretty much landed on my tractor. Oh. But I was there, and I'm like, oh, man, this is a precarious situation. <laughs> yeah. So I was able to get off and pick it up, and only now am I starting to feel that, like, in my legs. Yeah, just The next the day, it didn't of, bother me. Yep. I was like, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. And the next day, I was fine. And then uh. as the week has progressed, I'm feeling, like, different. Oh, man, my muscles here and there. But fortunately, it was in my garage. I wasn't moving. I just, uh, you know, I put my foot down and put the kickstand down and I started leaning the bike. I missed the kickstand. The kickstand never went down, mm-hmm. but the bike was still. <laughs> and they're light when they're standing straight up. But once they get past a once, certain part, yes. they're yeah, quite they're, heavy. They're tough. Okay, so that's All my right. woe for the week. Uh, Garnet Valley Education Association Flea Market is coming up this week. Let's take a look at that, um, that site. There it is. So if you are in the area. Um, Next week. Uh, I'm sorry, it's coming up on the 27th, okay. October 27th. Yeah, so if you're in the area, uh, stop by the uh, the Garnet Valley Education Association flea market. You, okay. If you want to be a vendor, you call that phone number right there, and it comes to this phone right here. Oh, nice, yeah. the Smack and Jack phone. The Smack and Jack hotline, yeah. <laughs> so uh, just let me know, friends, if you want to be a vendor. Otherwise, come on out and do a little shopping on that day. Okay. We'll, we'll be happy to have you. Yeah, so uh, what else? Video for product page. Shall we show that now? Barbara has no sound on her iPad. Uh oh. Did it cut out? Um, I don't know what to tell you, Barbara. We have. Do you have I sound? I have sound. Okay. I have sound here. So. Um, I'll check your. Uh, yeah, check, watch, check, check your, your phone. Maybe your your something your phone, or other. Yeah. yeah, try the phone, try the computer, but I have sound here. So. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, all right, so what should, were you say? should we do the video? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just, all right, so yeah. last week, Keith and I, uh, we took, we took a, a bye week. Yeah, we took a week <laughs> off of our show. Is that what they call when you don't? It is. Yeah. It is. I am impressed. Once again, I am yeah. impressed. All right, so we took a bye week, we'll say, and we did a little work on a video that we're going to put on the product page of our web our webpage. Right. Okay, so mm-hmm. our webpage has different, you know, pages you can go to, and our product page we felt needed a video to kind of explain um, you what know, we do, what we're yeah, about, and all that. Yes. Yeah, the product series. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'd like to show that to you now. Now, this is still an editing form. I put in some music there that I'm not sure if we're going to use. Um, be, be honest. If you want, go ahead and throw in some honest um, comments. This is not the be all and end all of our videos. Right. If, if people don't like this video. And remember, we are quite sensitive, so... <laughs> You know, go yes. easy on us. Yes, <laughs> yes, be gentle. But uh, we, we can make more videos. This is our first go at this particular type of video. Okay. Um, yep. So, we're, you know, we'll work with this, put it up, and then we'll do it again. Uh, just give us some comments. Yeah, okay. and, and be gentle, right? Be gentle. What are you laughing for? I'm just laughing. All right, so here we go. So this is an iMovie, folks. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, there we go. It's an iMovie. And I'm going to press play, and here we go. Hey folks, we're so happy that you landed here at SmackinJack.com. This is our product page. You are here in search of a value-packed free video, an in-depth marketing course, or an everyday product that we use, trust, and recommend. So go ahead and scroll down to find exactly what you were looking for. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and sign up to be on our VIP list. The form is either below or to the side of this video, and we'll send you updates on products and services that we know and recommend. And we would love for you to stop by every Saturday morning at 9.15 for Facebook Live, or catch up with us anytime on our YouTube channel. At SmackinJack.com, you will learn, Learn, laugh, laugh, and and live. live. Cheers! Okay, yeah. so that's our... Uh, so far, so good. I like that, Joel. Yeah, that's that's our rough draft of our... Uh, can we get a... Yay! That's a rough draft. That so, was our working day off last week. That's right. So so let us know what you think. Um, again, be gentle. 
uh, but we're happy to hear your comments and yes. so forth. We know it's not perfect. We know it's not bad, though. Right. Um, not too bad, anyway. Right? So so you can let us know. Okay. Okay. So, so we'll Barbara's start... got sound yeah. on her phone. I don't know what's going on. It's got to be an app. Yeah, Jim thing. said he has sound. Um, nobody else has said anything uh, about sound. Maybe, so on, maybe it is an Apple iPod, thing, although yeah, my iPad, my, my pad, my iPad is is working just fine. So yeah, anyway, I have well, sound on my iPad. Someone, yes. So okay. yeah, sorry about that, Barbara. That really, really stinks. Um, okay, so we're gonna okay. move on. We're gonna move on to what do we have uh, now? Is it the joke of the day? Oh, it looks like we do have the joke of the day. <laughs> way <laughs> into our show. Yeah, we're wow. just getting to our. Joke. We are well into our show. Yeah. Okay. Our announcements ran overtime. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, ready for the jokes? Here we go. From Joke of Hedia. One and only. That's right. Okay, so these are uh, probably one of the most, the, the most fantastic, the, the best mediocre jokes that we found. Okay. So far in, in this. Still okay. within the mediocre realm, however. Yeah. We haven't. We're, we're not going to go a stretch it. in any direction. Yeah. They're not okay. horrible. They're not amazing. They are mm -hmm. amazingly mediocre. All right, here we go. How many folk musicians does it take to change a light bulb? How many? One to change the bulb, and 39 to complain that it's electric. <laughs> All right! <laughs> nice! That That's is very so good. Bad, yeah, huh? that is Pretty really good. good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bob what happens when you drop a piano down a mine shaft? What? A miner be flat. <laughs> What happens when you drop a piano on an army base? What? A major B flat. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, last one, last one. Okay. Why didn't the opera singer get a job on the cruise ship? Why? Because she was afraid of the high seas. Very good. All right. And once again, no try looking for it. We have the only copy in existence. That's right. Thanks, Uncle and Brad. you probably would not want to buy yes. a copy because, well, you can get it right here, right? Yes, you can. Eventually, okay. you will have heard all the jokes. Mm -hmm. And when that day comes, we're going to have to look for another joke book. We well, want to start over again? Yes. Yeah, probably. We could probably Probably do just that. Yes. go back to page one. Okay. Yes. So, um, where are we? We did our okay. yep. uh, uh, joke trivia. of the day. Right. Let's, Let's get to, to our trivia. trivia. And uh, now, the trivia we're gonna do, we're gonna. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> you read your lines well. I like that. I practice. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's. Um... Oh, oh, I, I think that maybe were you referring to the uh, the video? With their video, yes. Video. Okay. Yes. All right. I thought he was talking about my jokes. Well, I think he's talking about the video. Yeah, but, uh, I, I think the video. Okay, thanks. Jim. Little does he know that it took us hours and hours just to do that little thing. But that, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we had to do them a few times. Yeah, but anyway, we, we did right. have script, and I kept looking at it a couple times, and you yeah. said, uh, "Don't." Well, look you know, down. it's it's uh, you know, nowhere to look on the camera, and that was all done with my uh, iPhone. And I have to say, the the iPhone Seven has a really nice camera. Yes, uh, yeah. which is one of the reasons why I, I got that one. So mm -hmm. okay, so let's go on to uh, trivia. Okay. And then we'll do facts of the day. and okay. uh, Yeah. All right. So trivia. Where are we here, folks? We can close this one out. Here we go. Carly just showed up. Hey, Carly. Good morning. Right in time for trivia. All right. Which U.S. president... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to have uh, sound with our trivia. Uh -oh. Sorry. Yeah, I'm supposed to have a little bit of sound. <laughs> I'm on the wrong slide. Sorry about that. Trivia. You, you can't do trivia without this. No, you need to... There we go. Okay. Okay. So which U.S. president issued the Emancipation Proclamation? I think I know that one. I think I do too. I'm <laughs> not sure. You know what? how to pronounce this? Arco Irish is a Spanish term for the for what natural phenomenon? Arco Irish. I wish I had Irish. asked Stephanie before I left. Uh, hmm. yeah. Is the Spanish term for what natural phenomenon? Eddie Murphy's first major motion picture role was in the what movie released in 1982? I know Co-starring Nick Nolte. I'm pretty sure I know that one too. Uh, I think it's his best movie too. What comic strip's final panel depicts a boy and a tiger sledding away? What flightless bird is featured on New Zealand's uh, one dollar coin? Hmm. Hmm. What, lar uh, what city is most commonly referred to as the City of Light? 
The United States Supreme Court consists of how many judges? Now we should know this one, yes, though I can't think of it. What is the color of Underdog's cape? Olympia is the capital city of which U.S. state? What is the name of Donald Duck's sister? Wow, these are tough this week, Joe. Yeah, and last one. I think that, yeah, last one. Marxist revolutionary Che Guevara. Che Guevara. Che Guevara. Go ahead. Uh, was born in <laughs> what country? Okay, let's run through these again. You can go ahead and type in your answer, and then um, we'll come back to them. Uh, which U.S. president issued the Emancipation Proclamation? Arco Irish is a Spanish term for what natural phenomenon? Eddie Murphy's first major motion picture role was in what movie released in 82, co-starring Nick Nolte? What comic strip's final panel or depicts a boy and a tiger sledding away? What flightless bird is featured on New Zealand's $1 coin? What city is most commonly referred to as the City of Light? The United States Supreme Court has how many judges? What is the color of underdog's cape? Olympia is the capital of what U.S. state? And what is the name of Donald Duck's sister. We right. shall find out. Let's move on to our facts of the day. Okay. Olympic medals and the bonuses that the U.S. Olympic Committee awards athletes for landing um, one of the top spots all count as taxable income to the IRS. Wow. So if you're an Olympian and you get a medal, you have to pay taxes on that. Well, if they're solid gold or yeah. bronze or whatever, I guess they're yeah. worth a bit of money. I guess. Wow, that's yeah. something. Interesting. Okay. Thanks, Donald. <laughs> a former Macy's salesperson became queen of Romania in 1948. Wow. Who would have thought? But we don't know her name. No. At age, that would have been too much information. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At age 22, Walt Disney was fired from a Missouri newspaper for not being creative enough. Wow. How about that? That's something. A study showed that it's not necessary to run, swim, or work out at the gym. Household chores such as vacuuming or scrubbing the floor or, or merely walking to work provide enough exercise to protect the heart and extend life. How wow, about that? Nice. Yeah, but if you don't do any of the above, then you got to do something else. <laughs> yeah, right? right. The state of South Carolina gave Marilyn Manson $40,000 not to play there. And schools in Florida threatened to expel students who attended his shows. Wow! You know, I've never—I don't know if I—I I, I didn't think he was still a thing. Well, I, uh, kind of interesting, huh? Yes. Just say it. His biggest okay. hit was a cover, but anyway. When looking at a crowd, we can only recognize two faces at a time. Wow! Well, that's that's a high number. I can only recognize one face at a time. Yes, really. Albert Einstein's last words were spoken in German to a nurse who didn't speak German. And are lost forever. Oh. Man, that stinks. The last Civil War casualty was Joshua Chamberlain, who died in 1914 from wounds he received at the Siege of Petersburg in 1864. So, what's wow. it's like 50 years later, right? Goodness. Something yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah that's exactly. very interesting. Benjamin Franklin left the cities of Boston and Philadelphia $2,000 in his will. But they could not draw the full balance for 200 years. In 1990, the cities received six and a half million dollars. Wow. Yeah. Pretty interesting, huh? Wow. Before they reached international start on the Beatles auditioned for Decca Records, who rejected them saying they had no future in show business. Wow, isn't that great? Yeah. Before becoming an iconic thriller, Stephen King's first novel, Carrie, was rejected by 30 publishers, causing him to give up and throw it in the trash. His wife retrieved it and urged him to resubmit it. And of course he did, and that is wow. quite a creepy movie. Yes, and I never uh, read the luck, book, lucky, for, lucky for Sissy Spacek, too. Yes, Sissy, uh, right. Because she would have been... The first time yeah. comedian Jerry Seinfeld walked on stage at a comedy club, he froze and was booed off stage. Wow, no kidding. And, uh, yeah, this is the last one. <laughs> In the 18th century, tobacco was used for rectal inflation, blowing smoke up the anus to resuscitate the drown. <laughs> Can you imagine having that job? All right. Are we still with you, folks? I are mean, we are, we using, are we using, a, uh, like, some kind of a hose for that? Or are we just... Going on natural. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. oh, that's thank I, you, Joel. I hope it's not like mouth to butt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. 
<laughs> All right, let's get back oh, to our... Oh, uh, my goodness. Let's get well, back to our... Uh, we have some of our... A couple of our audience still with us Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. After that one. Let's get back to our oh, trivia, folks. Goodness. Are we ready right. for the yes, answers? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Okay, so... Let's see if anybody's... Uh, do we have any answers up here, no, folks? I don't think we do. All right, let's see what we have. No sand on iPad. I don't think that's a correct answer, Barbara, but thank you. Yeah, oh, well, that, that refers to that, something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing she didn't hear anything about the, <laughs> the smoke. <laughs> okay. All right, folks, let's move on. Trivia Yay! answers. Which U.S. president issued the Emancipation Proclamation? The answer is... Abraham Lincoln. Yay, I got that one right. Okay. Let me just break in here a minute. Uh, it's not about the smoke. Is yeah. It? Isn't there something about blowing smoke when you're just full of baloney? Right. I'm yeah. not going to finish the whole thing. About blow I wonder if that has to do with the... All right, never mind. Let's go back to... Man, you won't let that go. No. Huh? Uh -uh, not, uh, Especially when you're full of baloney. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Arcaris is a Spanish term for what natural phenomenon? Answer is... Rainbow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Eddie Murphy's first major motion picture role was in what movie released in 1982, co-starring Nick Nolte? What do you think? 48 Hours. 48 Hours. Answer is? 48 <laughs> Hours. Nice. <laughs> you know what? Um, yeah. I, I, have I seen that one? Remember it starts out, he's in his j jail cell singing Roxanne through his uh, headphones, and Nick Nolte walks in and busts yeah. him out. Yeah. Oh, great movie. You know, I was thinking of those trading places. Okay. That, that, that was that, done in Philly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What comic strip's final panel depicts a boy and a tiger sledding away? Uh, oh, Calvin and Hobbes. Oh. Okay, yeah, I didn't get into much of that. What flightless bird is featured on New Zealand's one dollar coin? Oh, oh uh, 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 an e I can see an ewu. Ooh, the only one I could think of was penguin, but let's see here. A kiwi. kiwi. Wow, oh. kiwi. Man, I really thought a kiwi was like a fruit that you see in the Acme, but you don't ever buy. Yeah, well, that's that's after they take the wings off. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, what city is the most commonly referred to as the city of light? <clears throat> uh, let's see. I have an idea on this one. Let's find out. Paris, France. Oh, okay. Yay. That was one I was thinking of. <clears throat> United States Supreme Court consists of how many judges? I don't know. Is it 13? I think it's 13. Is it 13? Answer is nine. nine. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> All right. Very good. What is the color of underdog's cape? I have no idea. Red. Blue. Uh, uh, uh. It had to be one of those <laughs> colors, right? Olympia is the capital city of which U.S. state? Olympia. Uh, I should know this one. Washington. Washington. Olympia, okay. Washington. Yeah, we don't hear much about Olympia, Washington. No. What is the name of Donald Duck's sister? Now, I, I, the first thing that came to mind was Daffy Duck. Uh, Brenda. Uh, Della. <clears throat> Della Duck. <laughs> Called dumb. Uh, okay, let's just move uh, on. Yeah. Marxist revolutionary. Che Guevara, I, I can hear it in the song, Che Guevara, che Guevara yeah. was born in what country? <clears throat> um, uh, Argentina. Argentina. Okay. It was South so America. thank you folks all right. for uh, Ooh, hanging in there. Very all good, yeah. Tricky, uh, they were kind of tough this week. Got into yeah, the, the tricky tell you, but... general uh, trivia questions. Yeah, yes. okay. So I think that brings us to, after learning all that, all those interesting facts, right? And, and facts, all that stuff. And trivia. Yeah. That, uh, it mm -hmm. brings us to, hey Terry, hey, Terry. brings us to um, birthday minute. Okay, yeah, we're right minute. up towards the end of our show here. We're getting, we're getting yeah. close. So, so uh, okay, I guess we have to adorn our birthday garb. Yeah. So, uh, shall we get into it? it? Uh, yeah, let's all do right, it. Here let's we go. Mm -hmm. Off to the birthday minute, folks. Wait, let me turn up the speaker. And make sure we have some sound here. Birthday minute. Off we go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, 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 birthday Minute. <laughs> okay. Now, explosive. Every explosive. Uh, boy, yeah. I tell you. It, it just doesn't get more explosive than this. <laughs> I will say probably. Um, are you laughing at me uh, or with me? Well, yeah, at you at this point. Yes. I will say that uh, our audience probably knows right away that we're missing our birthday balloon. Did we do? Uh, yes, we did. Oh my good. Okay, just That's it. do a little yeah. bit of. Uh, okay. Do it a little so, bit. So um, yeah, I was a little late getting over here today. 
by like five minutes, so we're a little bit off of... Uh, I was a little late getting to bed last night. And <laughs> there we go. There we go. But Perfect. anyway, that's, that's I, I, I went to grab it. And I was like, yeah, oh, it's not there. completely forgot not all there. about like, it. Well, now I'm feeling... At, all right, let's do at, this one more time. Now I'm feeling <laughs> Happy birthday, everybody! Now I'm feeling calm. Okay, you got okay. some celebrity yeah, birthdays couple, over there. You know, it's it's a it's a uh, bye week too for celebrities. Uh, Matthew Sweet, born in this day, 1964, singer songwriter, uh, 90s uh, kind of uh, alternative rock, <coughs> still performing. Great guy, George Westinghouse. Uh, he invented a lot of stuff. Uh, had a lot to do with electricity, AC current, and all that kind of stuff. Wow. Born this day in uh, 1846. And Elizabeth Shue, one of my favorite actresses from the 80s, uh, she was born this day, 1963, just a couple of months younger than me, in Wilmington, Delaware. Ah. So happy birthday, Elizabeth. Yeah, happy and birthday, all those guys. Uh, I think she's on a cop show now uh, that's either current or just, just in the last couple of years I've seen her around. But anyway, she was a, you know, a young, not a child star, but, you know, the Rat Pack kind of, uh, those kind of people back in the 80s. So anyway... What do we got closer to home? Are we ready Joel? for uh, our well, friends Finally, here? are yeah, we still waiting? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. <clears throat> Starting today, Saturday is October 6th. Today is okay. October 6th. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Got to play a little rhythm Oh, there oh okay. <laughs> All right, so we begin with Laura. Happy birthday, Happy Laura. Happy birthday, Laura. <laughs> okay, tomorrow, Sunday, October 7th, we have Debbie, J-I-D, Joel, and Stein, uh, Marissa. <laughs> Happy birthday, folks. All right, Monday, which happens to be Columbus Day and Indigenous Peoples Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, is, we're, we're indigenous of uh, we are. America. We are. We are. You and I, we, we were born here. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You were one of the first babies in rural hospital, right? Yes, I was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Ken, happy birthday on Monday the 8th. Yay, moving on to Tuesday the 9th, we have... Cousin Lori, happy hey, birthday. Happy birthday Lori. Yeah. And Narander, happy birthday, you guys, right. on the 9th. Wednesday, the 10th, we have Ooh, a vacancy, Ooh. folks. Yeah. All right, moving on to Thursday, the 11th, we have Amy, Brianna, Kathy, and Doug. Happy birthday, folks. And right, happy birthday. Friday, the 12th, October 12th, we have Christina and Jen. And on Saturday, the 13th, we have... At J. Diaz and Maria. Hey, happy, birthday, happy birthday, everybody. Folks. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We All right, hope that birthday. you guys have a fantastic week. It is a great week to have a birthday. So happy birthday to you. Yes, We're going to get is. out of yes. the birthday minute. And that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Okay. Yeah. So that Who was does the birthday minute. Is that Caroline or Sophia? On on the the, the birthday minute. The uh, um the voice. Uh, that's me. Oh, that's you. Okay. The other thing that we used to do was uh, yes. one of the girls. The the Uncle the one Keith's. part of our show that was pulled. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't last too long. <laughs> yeah. The producers said, eh, let's just uh, let's yeah. let's get rid of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring it back with something else. Well, it looks uh, like about yeah. it. I mean, are, are we through it that quickly, Joel? I know, uh, yeah. I feel like I did a lot of talking, but it's still only 9.44. Yeah, well, it's, you know, we got a half hour show in. If we talk really slow, we'll get an exactly a half hour That's in. That's right. What do we got coming up next week or in the next couple of weeks? What do you... Yeah, well, this I actually just wrote down. What I'd like to do, um, this is just kind of between Keith and I, but I'll share it with everybody, is uh, just take a couple pictures. So there are, there are some weeks, like last week, where... Uh, we didn't have a birthday shout out for all our friends. Okay. So what right. I'd like to do is uh, make a little, just a little birthday card that we can send out, and that's what that pertains to. Okay. So we'll we'll yeah. do a little birthday shout out that we can just send out to everybody who has a birthday during a week where we don't have a show. Okay. Um, Good idea. And then uh, Halloween is coming up, my friends. So I thought that we maybe better do a little bit of preparing yeah. for. One of the most um, celebrated holidays of the year. Yeah, it is very yeah. celebrated. Um, and so, <laughs> fill in the blank. <laughs> 
<laughs> Never at a loss for words, and there he was. Yes, you know, every once in a while, the one that blabs the most runs out of things to say. But anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, well, I we're guess... gonna work on a costume, maybe, and yeah. you know, maybe, maybe we can uh, ask people what their favorite costume, yeah. is, their favorite things to do on Halloween. So that'll that'll be coming up next. Yeah. Uh, w- what do you do on Halloween? And then yes. what should Keith and I dress up as? Oh, there's for a good Halloween question. show. Yes. Yeah. Right. And for yeah. the best, uh, whoever comes up with the best <laughs> costume. Here I am again, uh, like all by myself here. Whoever comes up with the best costume idea. It's a sticker. Oh, maybe sticker and a magnet. Because we still got plenty of these things. Let us know if you want one. We will send them out to you. This is a sticker. Goes anywhere. This is a magnet. Goes anywhere. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about this. Our our Halloween special is going to be pretty soon because on the 27th is the flea market. Okay. Which is the Saturday right before Halloween. So So we're we're not going to be able to have a show on that day. So So it doesn't have to be like the 20th. 20, uh, what is today? Let's see. 27 minus 7 is 20. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's going to be on the 20. Didn't even need the paper for that Some, one. Somewhere in there. Pen paper, All right, so. folks. We've, All right, uh, yeah, we've run out of material, yes. as you can tell. So we should probably get Keep ourselves going. moving yes. here. Um, so we'll be around next week, right? Yes. Yep. Unless, Unless we have some unforeseen dentist appointment yes, right, right. Uh, so. that we can't get to. Uh, All right. Well, again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, and remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. See you next time. See you guys. Thanks. Smack death in the face.